Athena, and this is my partner, Harvey. We've been sharing many adventures together over the years, from camping and climbing to hiking and van life. Last year, we embarked on our biggest adventure yet. This is our little girl, Aoife. And not forgetting Oslo, of course. Join us as we navigate family life with our love of the outdoors and adventure. So are we good to go? Yeah, ready to go? I think so, yeah. It's hot today, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm quite glad. I think we're going inside this morning, so yeah. Hiya. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how many times am I going to pick this up today? <laughs> uh, 100 million billion? Yeah. Hello. Good morning. How are you doing? So we're just at the Museo della Civiltà Contadina um, here in San Marino, which translates as like the Museum of Peasant Culture. This is actually an old farmhouse that they've restored, um, and it's the kind of farmhouse that people would have lived in for the last, or since the 1950s. It's really interesting inside. Our guide kind of showed us all the different, um, I suppose you'd call them artifacts, or like old, yeah, old things that people would have used um, traditionally on these lands in this region. This is also the base for the San Marinese like farming cooperative. Um, so where different farmers come together with their produce and they talk about how to make it better, problems that they're having, that kind of thing, um, which is really great. Like it's amazing that they do that. Um, and yeah, something that you can really see from being here is the real pride that the San Marinese San Marinese <laughs> people have in their culture and their history. Um, they very kindly gifted us a bag of produce, which I'm really excited about. We've just had a little chill out back at the tent for a couple of hours, um, took Eva for swimming, had some lunch, and yeah, just had a little bit of a, bit of a lie down, downtime, yeah. yeah it was um, nice. And we're actually going to do a hike now. We're going back into the old town and we're doing a hike called the Sentiero della Rupe, which means the cliff path. Mm. Um, so it should be really cool. I think it takes in, I think the, the views will probably be amazing. Um, and we're meeting up with a guide called Andrea, who's going to take us. So yeah, yeah. it should be fun. <laughs> The story to heaven, okay? A lot of steps. <laughs> After, we will stop to bring water, okay? giant clump of Nutella in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> I've gone for a classic cherry in the cone. There's some peacocks here. It's quite nice in the evening. I'm just out, just down the deck and just having a quick tidy up. It's been um, it's been quite a long day. Uh, we were just sort of shut up into town to get some some really good sushi for dinner actually, uh, and then just sort of sit and watch the sun go down from up in the town. Um, 
just quite oh, it's just an, an amazing spot really and uh, I'm just gonna do some planning tonight for tomorrow and just sort of get ourselves sorted again I'm gonna try and get out early I think there's supposed to be storm tomorrow night so yeah for the time being I think Fina's just putting Aoife down and just gonna have a nice calm evening we're quite glad that we stayed not in the town itself but sort of kind of away on this campsite it's actually been it's been pretty nice I'm gonna just tidy up and head to bed I might try and get out early early doors and get some footage maybe we'll see see you later <laughs> he found his aroma like a certain appeal. He could clear the savannah. Mm -hmm. She's only just started her. Yeah, and we just got to a nice viewpoint. Yeah. Well timed. Are we gonna go look at the sea? Oh. <laughs> la 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 la. I see. I see the sea. So we've left um, San Marino and we are in Italy now. We're in the region of Le Marche and today we're exploring the nature reserve of Monte San Bartolo, uh, which was about just under an hour's drive, wasn't it, from San yeah, Marino? Yeah, yeah, really straightforward, straight down the motorway. Yeah, um, and it looks beautiful. We've just uh, stopped at a viewpoint because Aoife was having oh, little... <laughs> it's so nice to finally see the sea. Yeah, I know. Can't wait to get Well, in. we could see the sea from San Marino, which is really cool, but now we're like right on the coastline. So this is a nature reserve um, and it's basically a park that follows the coastline. So there's all these like amazing like cliff faces and beaches and we don't really have, uh, well, we do have a plan. We're going to basically drive, we're driving the mosey away along. mountain road yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. from Pesaro to Gabice al Mare. I hope that I'm getting those names right. Um, Sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just going to stop along the way, go to some beaches, maybe do a few little walks, uh, stop at some cafes and have lunch and have a nice time, aren't we? Yeah. Have a bit more of a chill day because we've been doing lots of walking and exploring the last few days. So yeah, yeah. today's going to be, really yeah, great. really cool. Yeah. Um, today's going to be more like about being in nature and just relaxing a little bit. So yeah, excited. Take this one to her first Mediterranean meet. Meet? Yeah, we're going to go meet the Mediterranean. Oh, I was like, <laughs> the what? Adriatic, sorry. Yeah, it's the Adriatic, yeah. Aoife to the Adriatic. Aoife <laughs> to the Adriatic. So we've just found this map of the nature reserve, Parco San Bartolo. And it just shows where we are. We are here. And our plan is basically to just like drive along this lovely mountain road, stop at some viewpoints. And I really want to head for Fiorenzuola di Focara, um, where there's a, it's, it looks like a really lovely little village. And we're going to walk down to the beach and have a little look at the beach.
So we're just heading down to the beach just below Fiorenzuola di Focada. <laughs> she just says it better than me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're just going to head on down. Uh, it's a nice little walk down across uh, down the hillside. Uh, just been into the town quickly for a quick coffee and a refresh, and then and then yeah. Beach time. Looking looking forward to getting in the sea actually. Oh, it's a nice breeze. Lovely. This beach is quite a ways, uh, quite a walk down, but I think because of that, it should be pretty bloody good. Yeah. Um, the there's loads of there's loads of driftwood all along the beach actually, so I'm already planning how to make a sh shelter <laughs> in my mind. Uh, and yeah, there's no there's no umbrellas down there, but no. which is to be fair great. Um, so yeah, we'll just get down there. Make, keep making our way down. We're already <laughs> like, wow, the walk back up. Yeah, we're brutal. Gonna, yeah, the walk back up is going to be like. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I'll be all right. It's always worth the effort. What we'll have to do is dip in the sea, like just before we walk back up, so we're yeah, wet. Yeah, we nice and up. cool. Yeah. And then, and then come back up. Yeah. Yeah, good, good, cool. Yeah. Right, let's see, see how we get on. Not sure how well you can see, but Harvey is all the way on those rocks. There he is. It's really shallow actually up until you get there. that two minutes and she's asleep yeah well like 30 seconds yeah yeah it's amazing <laughs> what an incredible beach yeah like I really like it it's just <clears throat> it reminds me of the Jurassic Coast actually uh, sort of back in England but it's uh, just wild kind of rugged but obviously they've carved this track down it's really nice like it's quite Interesting, they've got that sort of barrage just to, I assume, maybe hold the sand here, but it just creates this lovely little lagoon. It's, uh, and it's full of mackerel. And so begins the long journey back up the hill <laughs> from the beach. I think it, I think it will be worth it, because that totally was a really nice it. beach. And that there's a incredible. restaurant at the top. Exactly. Um, that does seafood, so. Well, I think it's kind of cool from here is you can see how the water is affecting the sandbars in behind that barrage or the gaps you can see the flow and it's all got like a sweep from where the flow's coming through. It's quite nice. It's really like shallow. 
in there uh, in some points and you can kind of see it as well from here so that's a that's a really nice beach I've really enjoyed that I also really love the fact that everyone just makes their own camps it's uh, with all the wood that's on on the on the beach it's so good and they're just there and you can just use them or add to them if you so wish so we were thinking of maybe doing like a little walk this afternoon as well but I don't know I think the weather's gonna change there's rumor that there's gonna be storms tonight I like there's like really high altitude winds uh, and there's kind of what I reckon is like the start of cumulonimbus building in the distance so potentially it might, we might have a you know it might get stormy which would be pretty nice actually <laughs> kind of tonight. Uh, but yeah so I don't know we're gonna we're gonna carry on we're gonna drive down the road and we may go for a walk we may not uh, but we've had a really really lovely day just having a a slow meander through this through this uh, national park and just like hanging out on the beach checking out some of the views uh, eating and just walking around this little town it's been very nice yeah I had a really nice day as well it's been super nice being on the coast um, and exploring a new part of Italy that I've never been to I've never been to Le Marche uh, the region in general so that's really cool and tomorrow we are actually heading to another region. We're going to Emilia Romagna and we're going to the Foresti Casentinesi. I think that's right, isn't it? Sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> um, which, yeah, will be really nice. So we'll see you guys then. Babies fast asleep as well. <laughs> How's Aoife? She's not one at all. <laughs> oh, that's great. There's been a bit of thunder and the rain. And she's just, yeah, not even, not phased at all. <laughs> she's pretty awake. For now, when it, yeah, she's, <laughs> I thought I'd try and put her to bed early, but she's like, just singing and chatting to herself. So maybe a little bit of play before bed, huh? <laughs>